What is up, YouTube? Hello. We are here for the Top Cut Network Retro Series. My name is Dan Garman. And Hello. I'm Franco Yamas. We got Franco over there. And we uh, we only had three people today. And uh, what we wanted to do, instead of going live and doing uh, like a tournament style like we have been doing in previous weeks for the Retro Series, we wanted to kind of do some more game, a more gameplay style video versus a tournament style video where Franco and I will talk out all of our moves. We will try to make the best possible plays uh, and we'll have fun while doing it. Franco and I are friends, right Franco? Yeah, I, I think we are. <laughs> so uh, we travel to work together every day. So I hope <laughs> we're friends. Um, yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I am playing Shandy Gord. This is the 2012 format. Uh, so we're going from Heart Gold, Soul Silver, all the way to Dark Explorers. Uh, I have Shandy Gore, so this deck plays Chandelure and Excel Gore. Yep. Um, this deck pretty much aims to make it so that um, whenever <clears throat> you uh, it goes into back into your turn, you're taking a knockout. They die from, po poison. from poison. Yep. Uh, and they can't retreat because of paralysis. So. Yep. Pretty much, it's just the yeah. Shandy Lure's there for perfect match. Right. So, yep. Deck and deck and cover is just ugh, gross to play against. And Franco's playing Miss uh, Magus. I'm playing Miss Magus. This is just like a, um, it's just a trainer lock deck with uh, a bunch of attackers. You know, um, Miss Magus allows me to move one energy, so um, that can allow for a little bit of flexibility. But yeah, yeah. So it's pretty fun. Yeah. 2012 format rules as far as first turns are concerned are pretty much the same thing as they are in today's standard format, except for the fact that in 2012 you were allowed to play a supporter on your first turn. So No restrictions. No restrictions other than that. Degenerate. Um, would you like to go, or would you like to call it heads or tails? Heads, please. Well, it is tails. Uh, I, I, will, I wonder what you'll pick. I will go first. Wow, imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine going Who first. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> Ooh, right. that's pretty cool. This is a pretty good opening hand. I don't, don't like my. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you can tell the deck was sorted, and I didn't. I thought I did a, quite a bit of shuffling, but all right, all right. Well, here's what we're gonna do: Dark Ribe EX on the bench. Cool. Um. Litwick on the bench. This seems like a pretty good start, bro. Rainbow energy to yep. Mew. I can't attack, right? No, uh, you can't attack. I thought I we think. couldn't attack with the start of Black White. Or is that XY? I think that was XY, dude. Alright, uh, see off. Yeah, I think yeah, I think we can attack, so. So I will see off, put Excel Gore in the lost zone. Uh, so what I want to do here is use Mew to use deck and cover instead of having to set up Shelmets and Excel Gores over every time I deck and cover. Oh, we just want to use Mew so we get the basic Pokemon on the DCE and then deck and cover. Yep. Okay, so... Here I will play Collector. Yeah, you will. Got him. Yep. What a hot card Collector is right now. So good. Uh, this one's a slower deck, so it definitely wants to be using Collector over some of the dual ball. That extra basic definitely matters a lot. Well, yeah, and it's three uh, guaranteed. Yes. Versus having to flip. Like, sometimes item-based search is better than supporter-based search. But yep. in this case, Collector is definitely better. Yep. So here, um, I think what I'm going to do is get... I think I want to get these three just in case um, Dan has a uh, Chandelure because Chandelure allows them to place four damage counters. Three. And... Oh, it's three? Yep. Oh, well, never mind then. Then I will not get Oddish and instead I will get Smeargle. Yeah, it's only three. Alright, Smeargle then. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, this is kind of awkward because I don't really want to attach this Prism to the Oddish. 
because it means that I can't evolve it um, before moving the energy, but, you know, we gotta roll with what we have, so. You'll just have to find a Miss Magus before you find a Gloom and or Vile Plume. Right. Yep, do not do definitely do not want that prism stuck on my Oddish, so. Play these down. Hatch Retreat. And then I'm going to Portrait. You would be really sad. Wow, that's um, that's an oof. <laughs> <laughs> so portrait, uh, allowing your opponent to look at, or allowing you to look at your opponent's hand, choose a supporter card in their hand, mm -hmm. and use it as the ability. So the the kind of double sided sword with portrait was, uh, if there's a supporter, you have to choose it. So if there was like a juniper and you had a bunch of cards in your hand, you didn't want to discard. Mm -hmm. Then you had to play the juniper, and she's yeah. like, "Well." That, that hurts. Sucks. It hurts a lot. So, but yep, yeah, uh, I can't do anything, so I'm just gonna pass. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go Mew, DCE. Uh, I will retreat, and then I will deck and cover. Sweet. And then, yeah, I'll throw the. Um. What are you throwing? Yeah, up? I'll leave the Mew. The I'll Mew? put the Mew back active okay. again. Yep. Actually, I'm pretty sure I should not have done Smeargle because, if I remember correctly, 70, 70 HP. 70 um, is the is magic number the, the for magic me. magic number. Yep. yep. And I also cannot use Portrait, so... Uh, Wait. That sucks. Are you sure? Portrait, yeah, portrait has the I I special condition yeah, clause, it has huh? a special condition clause. Dang. So. Yep. Uh, that's okay, though. Uh, we're going to collect her. I mean, it's fair to assume that my hand isn't wasn't that bad <laughs> <Right>. yeah <laughs> i mean yeah it was pretty good um well i don't know if i want to do this i don't think i do so while franco's searching um for those that maybe are confused about how i was able to deck and cover with mew uh, the pokebody lost link allows me to use uh, attacks of my pokemon in the lost zone yep Pretty good stuff. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that, actually. So, what I'm going to get is... I don't cure. Ooh. Um, uh, move oh, so you will. You will I'll be able to portrait. Get Mewtwo... And I guess this last one doesn't really matter as much. Um, so I'm going to get Oddish. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these communication away the Oddish. Okay. Wow, unknown cure. Dang. Get us Miss. Yeah, get us Magius. Now you can move the prism. Yep. Everything is all Franco. Yeah, it feels good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure instead of getting the Mewtwo, I probably should have gotten another um, Mistrivis because I'm actually going to attack with this Magius this turn. Um, <laughs> 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has damage counters on it. Yeah, but uh, You'll what, knock what's out important the is that I can knock out the active. Yep. yep. Dirty. And that psychic weakness on Mew is yep. killer. Yep. And the uh, reason why that's important is that I, it looks like Dan is stumbling. He didn't play a supporter for the past two turns, so yep. it's likely that his hand is dead. And denying him... Uh, so I'm going to Magical Trans from here to here. Yep. So denying him a prize with his portrait is actually going to be really important. So I'm going to Cure. And then I'm going to uh, attach a Rainbow. <clears throat> I think I'm also going to play Pokemon Center and then heal 20. Then I'm going to retreat and then Psychic Pulse for the knockout. Okay, so this puts me in a very weird position. My hand is very bad. Um, and if I don't top deck a supporter here, things are not great. Um, I'm going to put Darkrai forward because of the Psychic Resistance 
and it will likely be able to take a few hits. I don't think Franco's going to be able to do anything in the next two to three turns that will hurt me big time. Mm -hmm. um, that is helpful. And Pokecon putting Vile Plume back. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if the deck runs Cleffa. Uh... How many cards are in your hand? Three. Four. Sorry. <laughs> So I think I have two options. I could go for a Smeargle, retreat, hope to hit a good supporter with Portrait. Or I could Playground. And I think Playground's probably the call here. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you can't get Smeargle from it anyway. Yeah. Because at, at best, you get to sort of bench one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to bench three. Yep. So Pretty good. I don't know why I'm searching so much um, or shuffling so much. like to get a good, consistent shuffle. <laughs> uh, I'll bench Pichu. I'll attach DCE to Darkrai, Retreat, yep. Playground. Okay, sounds good. I'm also going to search. So Playground one. is super fun. We're going to grab an Oddish, a Mew... And I would really like, I feel like Smeargle is the play here. We let Pichu die at some point. Yeah, I think I want to leave this bench spot open. So Yeah, I and I, I feel like I got to grab Smeargle here. Everything. Um, As much as like Relicanth would be fun, I think Smeargle is the play. I got to be able to... Uh, try to find a supporter at some point. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this match is kind of weird because both of us are Vile Plume based decks. So, yeah. um, really the only thing uh, that that hurts either of us with getting a Vile Plume out is uh, the Pokemon search with Pokemon communication. Yep. Everything else is just kind of supporter yeah, based. Supporter based. So. Yep. Uh, I'll sleep check. And his head's which cool. is unfortunate. <laughs> because I oh, die yeah. to a psychic pulse. Yep, that is correct. <laughs> okay, so if that happens... Um... So now Dan only has three double colorlesses left. Yep. And he has the chance to do portrait. Yep. So let's see what I want to do here. And I also have a pivot. Yes, Dan also does have a so pivot. So I have a free retreat. I, I definitely think you still want when to... When Pichu is dead. Put up the smear goal. Yeah, because if I do find a supporter, it yeah. gives me a chance to find a switching card also. Right. So Exactly. So... Um, I think here, uh, let's let's play Seeker first. So I return my Pokemon first. So I'll return to Kira. Got Darkrai. All right, sounds good. Um, <clears throat> I think what I want to do here is. I'll put Mistrivis down. Mistrivis. I will. Pokemon, Pokemon Center. Center. Yeah. Magic Trans. Yes. From here to here. Um. Attach to Darkrai. Yep. Oh and no. And then I'm gonna Psychic Pulse with Knockout. Okay. Um. How many cards are you in? Four. You didn't need to play the Seeker. You played the Seeker so that if I portrait, I can't play the Seeker. That's what I think happened right there. Yeah, getting an unknown cure back is pretty big. <laughs> I mean that too, but...
I mean, if I'm gonna portrait, say anything, yeah, you should might as well just portrait. it. You gotta move Woo! these to life. Pont! Was that your prize? No. I had it in hand. Mm -hmm. But, like, uh, I had an energy. Like, this, I mean, this deck really only needs energy. Yeah. Like, if, if you can get an energy attachment every turn up to a certain point. I yeah, mean, I grabbed you're, a, you're a rainbow off the top, and I'm like, uh, if I find a bad supporter, I want this rainbow attached to, to me. This. But, oh, oh, my gosh. Yep. I'm throwing stuff everywhere. I, I might have um, considered attaching the rainbow to the Litwick so that you can pivot with it. And, and Dark Rye. Yeah, I probably should have benched Dark Rye before portraiting, huh? Yeah, this I mean these these Vile Plume decks aren't really the ones to use anything like Juniper. Yeah. So um putting on Dark Rye probably would be good. But it's not that big of a deal. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Um Dark Rye. There you go. <laughs> so I have a lot of decisions to make here. I grabbed three supporters off of that. Um, and I think I probably want to play this one. Yeah, Twins is pretty Seems good. Seems like the right call here. Yep. That so we're going to go good. Twins. So Twins allows me to grab two cards from my deck. As long as I have more prizes remaining than my opponent. Yep. Pretty good in a deck that always falls behind early. Yeah. Well, I guess not always, but it's a slower deck, so it's very much more likely to. <clears throat> Twins is busted, bro. What, what gust effects does this format have? Uh, Pokemon Catcher, the uh, unnerfed Pokemon Catcher. Yep. But um, these are both Vileplume <laughs> decks, so... Um, it, doesn't it is on. probably safe to assume that neither plays them. So I think it is safe to assume that this Smeargle will die if I do not retreat it. Because it looks like Franco is going to probably likely Night Spear. Um, so I think what I want to do actually is set up Chandelure. Remember, you can also twins chain, so you can get like one card and then a twins, and then do all that type of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> Chandelure being weak to dark is unfortunate in a dark rai format. Um, but I feel like I really should get it set up. How did this deck switch out of Chandelure? With Darkrai. That's what it's for. With Darkrai. Darkrai and the Rainbow Energy. Duh. Yep. This is why it would have been like kind of cool to have the, the rainbow on the yeah. Chandelure. So here, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave the Smeargle active. Because if I, if I go down to three, I think that's okay. Because I hopefully at that point... Can start trying to lock. Because Franco's not going to be able to pick up Unknown Cure every turn. So. I'm going to Candy into Chandelure. I'm going to attach Rainbow to Chandelure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Pokemon Center. Yep. Then I'm going to Beach. Okay. Um, And then I will just use Beach to draw five. Yep. Pretty good card. All right. Can draw. Hmm. Pretty good, pretty expensive. <laughs> yep. Hmm. So here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach <clears throat> to Darkrai. Is that rescue? Has a rescue energy. Okay. Mm. 
And then I think here I'm just going to retreat into Darkrai. I'm going to play kind of conservatively. I think I have a couple collectors left, but if I have an unknown cure, I don't really want to shuffle that away. So I think what I'm going to do is just Night Spear. And then I will do... Hmm... I think I'll do 30 to the Dark Rye. Yeah, so you don't want to put it on Chandelure because if you attack into Chandelure with Dark Rye, you get the knockout. So you don't want to put it on Mew because Mew's just going to duck and cover it away. Yep. So this is definitely, one of these two is definitely the yep. target there. Um, obviously, I put Chandelure forward here. Yep. Um, I've got the Dark Cloak Retreat, and now I can Curse Shadow. So I will draw for my turn. Um, I feel like I probably want to get another Litwick in play. Yep. And then... Twins. <clears throat> Cards in hand? Five. Okay. I don't have to show you the twins. Nope. I mean, you're going to see them both. That's so I'm going to get a Vile Plume into play. I think maybe I put down the Mysterious a little too early. The spend spot would have been really nice if it was something else. <clears throat> That's okay. Starting with the Oddish also kind of hurts because like it's just another thing on the field that yeah. probably shouldn't be there. I don't think this is a matchup where I set up Bob Um So I'll put a touch of Rainbow um, to Mew. I will Curse Shadow... I think I want to knock out the Smeargle here because now that you're under trainer lock, I don't want to. I want you to be able to play as few cards as possible. So I think, yeah, let's just put 30 on the Smeargle to knock it out. Okay, sure. Um, so I'm going to get Night Speared. Do I want to give up another prize? I don't think you kind of have to. For the see off. What are you going to be seeing off here? Tracheon, probably. Uh, yeah, I guess that is a thing you could do. But that puts you go down to two prizes for that, which is unfortunate. Honestly, I probably just sack the Litwick. Like it's the most expendable part. Yeah, not finding a DC on that beach really hurts. Yeah. Um, I know Franco still has the cure in hand, but still getting that, I guess, what would have been 40 damage off was would have been important. Um, so, yeah, I think you're right. I'm just going to sack the Litwick, Dark Cloak to retreat, and beach for one. All right. Attack, uh, or draw. Um, gonna put down my other dark eye. Yep. Magical trans the rainbow away. To there. Yep. And then I'm just gonna night spear. Okay. Yep. I'll put thirty on the dark eye. Litwick, big dead. Very big dead. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to play Ponce. Yep. <clears throat> Maybe not. <clears throat> I'm going to play Sages. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Pretty good Sage. So 
yeah, I ditched the Darkrai, the Pokecon, which probably will not be able to play, mm-hmm. and a Chandelure. Um, I don't know that this is the smartest thing to do, but it seems important. Um, I'm going to Celebration Wind, the Rainbow Energy to Vile Plume. And then... I think that's fine. I'm going to attach DCE to Mew. Um, I'm going to Cursed Shadow. One here. Hmm. Let's see. So the math, I'm doing deck and cover, 30. Poison is 40. Mm -hmm. You have the cure in hand, 60. Deck and cover again, deck and cover again. So each cycle is like uh, 60 damage. 50 damage. 60. If I'm putting two there right now, you'll be at 60, putting mm-hmm. you at 120. Assuming you cure. But I want to do this because now I can put Vile Plume active, take mm-hmm. a shot, retreat it. Then, But then I died at Night Spear. I would have liked to find a different basic Pokemon, I think. I mean, you can always sack the Shaman, but then again... You're at two prizes. Yeah, so So. that's kind of the problem here. You having Unknown Cure in hand really hurts me right now. Um, I'll retreat and deck and cover. Yep. So after Poison, I'm taking... So I'm at 70? Um, It does 50, but you're resistant. So 30 plus Poison is 40. You should be at 60. 60. Yep. Math. Right. <laughs> All right. What you putting up? <clears throat> Let me look at my hand real quick. All right, draw. Hmm. Is this really what I want? I don't think it's worth thinning out a card. So first off, I'm just gonna cure. Yep. Um, I have the option to evolve into Gloom, but I don't think I want to do that. Actually, leaving these low HP things are, are actually kind of good because it breaks their lock. The lock that Dan could possibly do um, by just promoting and then um, giving me a chance to attack once they deck and cover. Yep. So I think now I'll play the Pawns, trying to just find a Seeker here, another one. Yeah, because that cure hurts. Because So here, basically, I can start... Lo- I can lock... This dark right out until Franco finds a seeker. So I will take one more Night Spear without losing a Pokemon. But after that, I need to make sure Franco cannot get another seeker. Yeah. Like that's that's the goal here. And he's got a lot of cards left in his deck. He's not played a lot of cards this game. Yep. So it could just be that I uh just never draw into it. Or some other stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, I'm going to attach to Miss Magius. Okay. And then I will... I'll Night Spear. I'll do 30 onto the Darkrai. Draw. Juniper. Yeah. I just ditched a lot of supporters. There, that was a lot of supporters. Which might hurt me, but I two, three. Might have done pawns. Five, five. Six, seven. And you need you need a bunch of cards.
Um. So I will deck and cover. Yep. No, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a risk here. I can't put Darkrai forward because Darkrai died. I can't put Vileplume forward because Vileplume dies. Vileplume actually... Okay, it lives... It dies to another Night Spear. Honestly, I'd probably just... You, put up the if you have a Seeker, you win. If I put up Chandelure. If I put up Vileplume, yeah. Vileplume's the safest play, yeah. Because then you can't take a double. Mm-hmm. Alright, so um, I take 40. So I'm at 100 now. Yep. Sweet. Alright, so I will draw. I'm going to play Sage's Training. Take two cards. I think I'm going to take these two. Discard these. <clears throat> um, I will magical trans. Yep. From here to here. Try to uh preserve some energy. Um, and then I will it's under 170, I think it's fine. Um, I'll attach here as well. 10 there. And then you yeah, you attached to Miss Mages last turn. Yep, it yeah, was yeah, the yeah. last turn, yep. And then I guess now I'm just gonna pass. Okay. Or actually, wait. You're right. I could beach. I'm gonna beach for one. Okay. Sages. Yep. Sages is really nice for uh, Chandelure because it just lets lets Dan thin out its deck. Eventually, just get to the Mew deck and cover route. Oh wait, no. This you discard the Sage, my guy. Oh, did I start shuffling it back in? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. My bad. We good, we good. I'm t everyone's thinking I'm a cheater now. I'm a cheater. It's fine. Dang it, Dan. Caught on camera. I can't believe you did <laughs> Caught it on camera. Caught on camera. SMH my head, bro. <laughs> um... So I'm in the same predicament again as I'm in last time. I take the knockout here, right? 110, 30, 40. You're locked again. Do you die? Do you die coming into my turn to poison? 110, 150, 160. No, I'm too short. Okay. You have seven cards in hand. Yep. This is risky. Deck and cover. Sweet. Um, so I take 60. 40. 40. Math. Be at 150. 150. Nice. All right. Here we go. The secret top deck. Can we do it? Damn, bro. I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Heart stops for a second there, huh? A couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say this training. Um, I will get this and this. I'm gonna discard these. Definitely do not want to end myself. <laughs> I want you to do that. Yeah, no, that's not happening, bro. <laughs> <laughs> OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get to energy trans this yep. energy away. I'll put on to unknown. Okay. <clears throat> Attach a rainbow to mischievous. Okay. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I cannot beach, so I'll just pass. Okay. Um, 160. So I'm going to curse shadow 20 here mm -hmm. to knock it out and 10, 10 here there. Okay. Sure. Yeah, see, now this is where I lose, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Because I can't deck and cover to keep the lock up. Um, so what can I do? I lose Vileplume to a Night Spear. Yeah. Sages. Okay. Yeah, this is why it was important to to make sure that the lock stays in place. Yeah, so I did not find... I needed to grab a Terrakion, and I missed it. I think I have to grab this as much as... Because he can Magical Transfer and Retreat and Night Spear here. Yep. Um, yeah, I gotta take these two. Okay. Uh, energy, energy, Excelgar. Excelgar. Yep, okay. Looks like you're about to deck out here, bro. Seven. Yeah, I definitely needed the Terrakion. Missing the Terrakion is a big deal because now I don't have a Pokemon that I can put up and not give up in a double knockout. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just lose. Yeah, I'm not even... Yep. I think earlier there was like a... Do you still have your other Dark Rise as well or did you discard that? I tossed it. Got it. Okay. Darn. Yeah. Looking back, maybe I should have just let the Vile Plume die a few turns ago. Because I could have yeah. Pokecommed. Right. I mean, because in this case, Vile Plume isn't really doing anything for you. Like, I, I can't say that it's hurt me at all this game. Yeah. So. But, so here's, here's what I'm going to do. We'll finish the game out, at mm -hmm. the very least. Um, I've already Cursed Shadowed. We retreat. Yeah, because you take 30 damage, knocks out Vile Plume. Yep. <clears throat> um, weakness to Dark, knocks out Vile Plume. 70 damage, dead. 90 damage, dead. <sighs> I'm just trying to think. Do I have some other option? And the answer is no, I don't. I, I have an option if Lampant is in the Lost Zone, but it's not. Gotcha. And even then, you just magical transfer anything. Yeah, I know. So I deck and cover. I take my prize. Yep. I put up... I, I gotta put up Vile Plume. Yep. Gotta That's put That's the up only way you take up one, one prize. Yep. So... So I'll, um... That's a... Put up the the mystery vest there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, losing the lock sucks. Yep. 
So we'll see how this goes. Um, how many cards are in your hand? Eight. Okay. Yeah, eight. Okay. You gonna copycat me, bro? No. Are you thinking about it? No. <laughs> are you lying? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I lie, bro? Oh my god! Yep, I'm gonna attach. I'm gonna get revenge there. blasted. Here, I actually think I want to keep that as a mystery dress just in case. And then I'm going to. And. Peach, right? You don't care about going down to two cards. You care about putting me at two cards. Yes. Yes, I do. All right. Um, I'm going to retreat. And then I'm going to. Actually, you know what? No, I should not retreat into that one. I'll retreat into this one. And then I'll psychic pulse. You get it? No. Me too, double? Nope. Close. Um, yeah, because I don't have anywhere I can drop 30 energy, or 30 damage. 30 energy! 30 energy. That's a lot of energy. I don't have anywhere I can <laughs> drop 30 damage and take a knockout. Yeah. So let's, let's imagine for a second that I could do that. Like, yeah. let's imagine I was smart at one point in the game. <laughs> and I put 20 on unknown. All right. And then I curse shadow. I grab a prism, which is not going to not going to do anything for me. <laughs> yeah. Good game. Good game. Well, you guys, that was fun. 2012 was fun. What a great format. Two two decks. That was, you know, I kind I almost turned that into a good game for a Yeah, minute. that was that was good. Uh, that was very cool. I, I was playing I was playing from behind for a lot of it. Uh that end kind of sealed it i had dce mu or dce in hand i had pot in hand and i had like 10 cards in deck yeah. so the chances of me finding another deck and cover there were high um i maybe could have lasted one more turn uh the shaman play was a little weird i liked the shaman play that was good see I, i'm not totally sure uh like that was that was definitely good I that's a that. that, i can take easy damage easy knockout there Right, because if you put that forward, I curse shadow thirty onto it. I deck and cover once, and it dies coming into my turn. Mm. Yep, fair enough. So, right, deck and cover fifty poison, sixty, ninety poison coming into my turn. Oh, yeah. I'd only be a hundred. No, I would be ten short. But I mean, still, yeah, putting two prizes down like that. I don't know. Yep, it might. Um, be, I mean, it's cool. It's cute for sure. But the um, I mean, it was it was a losing game for me, anyways. Regardless, yeah. so I actually only run one seeker as well. So oh, really? Yeah, I was playing around that stupid card, and there's only one of them the <laughs> whole game. <laughs> but all right, everyone, that was, uh, that was yeah, that was a fun game. I like okay. that a lot. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's gonna be like five of these at least. Probably we're gonna try to get six. I think mm -hmm. six of these games out. Uh, so if you enjoyed this one, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here or any other time and you haven't hit subscribe yet. Uh, we're going to try to get as many of these videos out. Go backwards. Check out the Top Cut Retro series when we have been doing the tournament style play. Mm -hmm. uh, there's all sorts of 2006, 2007, 2010, and 2009 games 2009, out there. Yep. Uh, so make sure you go find those. Thanks for watching, and we will see you for the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.